Hey guys, Mike Tierney here with Princess Auto. Welcome to Tech Tips with Mike T. In this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about torque wrenches and adding crow's foot sockets to them so that when you need to get into some tight spaces but still maintain a torque spec on your fastener, we'll be able to do that properly. A crow's foot socket is a great option when a standard socket won't fit the fastener or the space the fastener is in to get the proper torque spec. So when you're trying to get into very tight spaces, a crow's foot socket is a great option to have. So let's have a look at the wrong way to attach a crow's foot socket. Now that might seem the proper way to do it, but let's talk about why this is improper and how it's going to affect your torque specs. So a torque wrench is designed to set a specific torque spec from the distance of the drive head to about midway down the handle. So by adding the crow's foot, we have extended the distance now, and that will cause your fastener to become over-tightened or change its torque spec. So here's an example. Let's say we set the torque wrench at 20 foot-pounds. By adding that crow's foot socket, we've now extended that distance, and that will actually put 23 foot-pounds of torque on your fastener. That could cause it to over-tighten. So let's have a look at the proper way so that we don't over tighten our fasteners inadvertently. All we need to do is turn the crow's foot socket to a 90 degree angle to the torque wrench and keeping everything in line. So if you're not sure about all this, there are mathematical formulas that you can use to calculate your distances on your torque wrench in relation to the socket sizes that you're using on your fasteners. Well, I hope you found the tips useful. If you want to see more tech tips with Mike T, go check out the playlist of Princess Auto's YouTube channel.